friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with mid dilated pupil size of this pupil is about 5 mm let us observe this surgery this is the main incision at around 11:30 o'clock and this is a side port at around 2 o'clock and now I want to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye and for that I have injected an air bubble beneath this air bubble the dye has been injected this is adrenaline and this is phenocaine and now the dye is washed out and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now it is applied over the cornea also for better visibility and now's the time to do capsulorexis and see what happens as i try to do rexis with the iterator forceps i cannot puncture this because there is generalized weakness of the jonior and i have to be a uh, really very cautious in this case so i take a very sharp needle and raise a capsular flap i hold this capsular flap with uterator forceps go anti clockwise along the margin of the pupil to get an adequate size rexis of about 5.5 mm because of visco the pupil has dilated a bit and we have got an adequate size rexis now hydro dissection is being done and the nucleus is mobilized visco again and now is the time to introduce the fecal handpiece some superficial lens matter is removed and now the handpiece is turned the bevel is up towards the cornea and this is submarine jaw i go through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and use the chopper and this is a nice crack i rotate the nucleus 180 degree and separate the two hemineuclei completely and now this is division of on hemineuclus into two pieces and now this free nuclear fragment is being emulsified ultrasonic energy being used is 80% flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 mm of mercury and this is oatly cataracts 3 fecal machine from switzerland this is the other hemineucleus again i go through the substance of this hemineucleus and make a chop and this free nuclear fragment is emulsified and taken off and now i divide the other larger piece and the smaller piece is emulsified and this is the last nuclear fragment at this time i decrease the vacuum to 250 flow rate is reduced to 30 and ultrasonic energy is reduced to 65% and this is the epineucleus epineucleus tumbles and it easily comes to the tip of the fecal needle and thus the nucleus and epineucleus has been uh, nicely managed in this case and now this cortex i'm using a 23 goes simco cannula 
it causes a gentle tangential pull and removes the cortex. In weak joints, I like to use this instrument. If we use bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial irrigation aspiration, chance of genular dehiscence is little more than this instrument. Now the capsular bag and anterior chamber is filled up with 2% HPMC and a monofocal interocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and it has gone in the capsular bag. And now is the time to remove the visco. I use the 23 gauze Simco first. Go behind the eye will also remove the visco between the intraocular lens and the posterior capsule. And this is again irrigation and aspiration by bimanual IA. Again I go behind the intraocular lens and remove the visco from there from the space between the intraocular lens and the posterior capsule. And then the side port is hydrated with BSS. Then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.